What's up guys, Zio here, and for today's video we are going to be reviewing the 90 rated team of the season, Bastian Schweinsteiger. He's 61k, and as you can see on the screen, he has some insane stats. We've yet to play any games with him, but he does have 88 shooting, 90 passing. He has the high, high work rate, 6 feet tall. His pace is a little bit slow, but with those types of stats, I think he's going to be crazy insane. And uh, we're going to be playing him at striker so we can get some goals and assists with him. And uh, as you can see, we built a full German team around him. We do have the Philip Lom 95. If you haven't seen that player review, then definitely go ahead and check that out. I'll leave a link to it down in the description of this video. But uh, yeah, for this Bastion Schweinsteiger, we have him taking everything, the PKs, the free kicks. Let's just get into a game and see what he can do. Wow. Bastian Schweinsteiger from way out. That is an insane finish. Jesus Christ. Legend. Easy bottom left finish. Two goals for Bastian Schweinsteiger. He's taken over the game. Nice little team goal right there. All started from Bastian winning the ball. And then a uh, just nice little counter-attack, hold possession, chip it over, and easy finish. I don't even know what that goal was, but uh, yeah, Philip Lom, I think that is. No, that's oh wow, Mario Goetze. So yeah, the whole team's getting involved now. It's not just Bastian Schweinsteiger, because uh, when I do player reviews, I don't like to force it to the guy I'm player reviewing. I like to just play normally. If he scores, he scores. If he doesn't, he doesn't. Because I feel like when a lot of people do player reviews, they just force it to him, and then it's like not really how he's truly gonna perform if you're just trying to win. Alright, so as you can see, we did win the first game 4-1. Uh, Castro had a 9.5 rating man of the match. Bastian Schweinsteiger, 9.3, still very good. He did score two goals along with uh, actually zero assists. But uh, yeah, the team played pretty nicely. Bastian Schweinsteiger, you kind of have to play with them as a hold-up striker. So you just uh, send them the through balls and then just kind of hold possession with them. Wait for everybody else to get up with them. And then you can just start the attack from there because he is very clinical. He's slow, but very, very clinical. So another match that was pretty quick. And uh, hopefully get another W. Let's see what happens. That is better than Barcelona. That is ZLFC football. Straight from kickoff, we passed it about 20 times. Just broke the defense down. And just slots it home already. 1-0. Bastion on the one touch. And I'm not sure if it's Schweinsteiger, Schweinsteiger. I can't really say it, but uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing it somewhat correctly. I think it's Schweinsteiger like that. Something like that. It's just too easy. For the people who don't pass enough in this game, you can just literally, like, look at this guy. Look at this guy. 2-0 in, like, five minutes. He's already quitting. I was just passing around his defense, just breaking it down. 
and uh, just finding the open man and then you know just a nice little tap in very simple 2-0 we're gonna play again because that does that even count as a game I don't even think I have to edit in this game <laughs> but uh, yeah 9.2 rating from uh, Bastion and 2-0 uh, win let's get into the third match Oh, off the post. We get it back though? Yes, what a finish. Who was that? Let's do the LeBron. Mario Goetze again. Does this man think it's the World Cup Finals or something? Are you serious? The post again, that's four times this game. Come on EA. Oh my goodness, I was spamming the shoot button. If we don't win this. Oh my goodness, yes. In the 88th minute, a beautiful one too right there. And Castro the man. Whew. I thought we were actually not going to get this W. Look at that through ball. Perfect. Weak finish. But hey, if it goes in, I'll take it. Gonzalo Castro coming up huge. Great through ball from uh, Schweinsteiger. Come on, Castro. You're faster than him. That's a PK, though. And I do always say, if you were the one to get fouled, then you've earned it. But we're up 2-1. We're going to get this W regardless. Let's give the main man, Bastion Schweinsteiger, the PK. Let's just go top right. Hopefully that's not over. Off the top netting, Bastion Schweinsteiger puts the closing on the game. There's the W. 3-1. Bastion Spinestack here again. Did I say 3-1? to one? I guess it's going to be 4-1. to one. This is basically how I've been playing this whole entire game. So I don't know how I'm finally just scoring now. But again, you just got to be patient. He thought I was just going to immediately try to score. Just casually ran by his uh, last defender. And uh, then it's just a one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Slotted into the bottom corner. Easy goal. 4-1. to Alright, so as you can see on the screen. Gonzalo Castro again with the man of the match. But uh, Bastion Schweinsteiger, 9.4 rating. He did have two goals right there in the 90th minute. And then he also did get an assist earlier in the match. But uh, yeah, this uh, ended up being a pretty large victory, as you can see, though. I did hit the crossbar like four times, as, as I was saying. But uh, if you look at the stats, you can clearly see I was dominating. It wasn't just lucky 90th minute, you know, banter. I was dominating this game from the start to the finish. Um, he did have a nice goal with Mane, Sadio Mane. But uh, other than that, he didn't really have any two threatening attacks. But uh, yeah, I'm going to give you the uh, rundown of Bastion and uh, tell you what I thought of him. Alright, so as you can see on the screen, he did play four games and have six goals. One of the games I didn't show you guys because I lost 3-0 in about the 20th minute. This guy was insanely good. I knew I wasn't going to score, and even if I was, I was just wasting my time. I wasn't going to get the victory. So I did quit that match. But um, So basically, maybe three games we could say. So, six goals in three games along with an assist from the striker position is very efficient. And, um, yeah, he's a great striker, actually, because every shot he does take has a huge chance of going in. And that's how I find um, a lot of players with low pace and good shooting, like Wayne Rooney, uh, Robin Van Persie back in the day. You know, players of that nature. Schweinsteiger fits into it. Frank Lampard, Steven Gerrard, you get the point. Um, they just seem a lot more clinical when their pace isn't too high because it seems like they are um, a lot more powerful when it comes to shooting and that's how this card felt now if you were gonna play him at, in his natural position of like a center mid center attacking mid or center defensive mid I think he'd be very good six feet tall he wins a lot of the headers even from um, the striker position he didn't score on any but he does win a lot of them so I would imagine that from the CDM position he would fit very nicely his long shots as you saw in the first goal were pretty you know pretty insane 
So uh, definitely I would recommend purchasing him. He only costs you 60k. He's a 90 rated um, card. You can fit him into your Bundesliga team because of the German nationality. And uh, yeah, I think he's definitely an underused card that you should definitely go and pick up. Definitely worth the coins. Insane player. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video though. Hit the like button if you did enjoy. If you want to see me review any other player under 100k, then let me know down below. And um, if you want to see anything from this channel, whether that be GTA or FIFA related, then also let me know down below in the comment section. I will always make sure to read as many as I can. It's been your boy Zeal, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.